Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back. Today's workout is a lower body focus, so let's get to it. All right, we gotta get started. We really need to get started. We're gonna start here with uh, a variety of dumbbells, probably five pounds up to 25 pounds. We have a stepper for our calf raises. If you have one, if you don't, maybe stairs nearby. If not, no worries, we'll do them from the floor. Okay, you just won't have that drop in the heel. We're gonna get started and warm up here. Let's start that timer. Let's go with a downward dog here real quick. Push back into those heels. Maybe sway your hips, just loosening up the lower legs. You need to stretch in the Achilles and the calves side to side. Good, now let's walk the dog. Releasing one foot at a time, pressing a little deeper into the heel of that opposite foot. Back and forth. Good, let's walk it down into a cobra. I want you to look left, look right, look left, look right. Good job. Walk it in, back into downward dog. One more time for me. Let's just sway side to side. Good. Let's walk that dog up under those toes. Press each heel down. Still remember to push into those shoulders. Good, let's bring it back down. Easy Cobra. Left, right, left, right. Good, oh, let's walk it all the way in to the top. Nice work. We'll walk on our heels, down across the mat here. Turn around, bring it up on your toes. Good job, turn around, heel walk. Keep those toes up, pull them back, up on your toes. One more for me. Heel, heel, heel. Good, up on those toes. Nice work. Let's go ahead, squat up onto those toes. Squat up, two, three, we'll do five, four, five. I want you to step to the right, give it a twist outside that knee, come to the center, step left outside that knee, give it a twist, good. Back and forth, good. Side to side, good twist. Get that elbow outside that knee. Couple more on each side. So one more here, step right, twist, step left, twist. Let's finish off with five more squats up on those toes, getting those legs nice and warm, blood pumping. Good old leg day. We're gonna feel it. Good large muscle strength. Heart rate will go up. All right, let's do some butt kicks right here behind. You got it, really kick up, pull those heels up. A few more seconds here. Today's workout, while we're doing this, I'll talk to you. Today's workout, I have two sets, we'll have two circuits and we'll do two sets of each, okay? That'll keep this workout about 25 minutes long for you, okay, with this warm up. If you have more time to give, because I am trying to make these a little shorter. All right, let's step to the right and come up on those toes to the left. Anyways, I'm trying to make them a little shorter so you can fit them in into your busy schedules as fall approaches and school and all kinds of other obligations are uh, starting to peek back up here. But anyways, if you have time, I do have a third set where we're gonna go through each circuit one more time. That'll take us about 38 minutes, so almost 40 minutes today. You can cho choose a shorter version. If you drop off the stretching, it'll be a little shorter as well, okay? So a couple options there, I'm trying to do that just so that everyone feels like they can fit it in. Good, all right, let's just jog in place. Let's bring up that heart rate, because it's gonna spike a little bit when the legs are involved, right? All right, I'm gonna talk here. We have 50 seconds. If you wanna keep moving, maybe some low step outs here, jacks or something. All right, we have a single arm overhead squat. I'm gonna use a dumbbell. 
please, if you feel back pressure, your core is not quite strong enough or the mobility is not there in the shoulder quite yet, go ahead, put the weight down. Just use your arm today, all right? And we're just gonna come out here with that weight or with our arm overhead. It's tough enough with the arm overhead, I guarantee it. We'll do 30 seconds on each side, all right? We're gonna do a lateral lunge today. That's why I had us warm up with that. We're gonna step to the side and we're gonna lower really slow, about five counts. They'll try to count for us. All right, one, two. We'll stay with one side for 30 seconds and switch. That'll get us started. We have RDLs and we have a reverse lunge. We're gonna get started in three, two, and one. Good, arm up overhead or a little bit of weight, but not much. We're gonna drop that bottom, keep that arm up there, right over that shoulder. Squat down. This is a full minute of work on the squats. All right, so just be careful. Just an arm is okay. Work up to it. Try three, try five, maybe it's a can. Just something to get started. We're gonna switch sides here in three, two, and one. Good, bring that left arm up overhead. Right arm goes out. Notice my feet a little wider than shoulder width. All right, so I can drop down here a little lower. Keep that shoulder or that weight over my shoulder. Good. You got it. Feet are flat. Make sure you feel, again, pressure in the balls of your feet and the heels. The entire foot is flat. Good. Up and down. Three, two, and one. Nice work. I'm only transitioning. I'm not really giving us much rest until we finish there. Um, I'm gonna start with a, actually I'm gonna start a little heavier. I'm gonna try 15. We're gonna go to the right side with that lateral lunge. You're gonna bring it down nice and slow, okay? So step right and stick it. Then I want us to come down. One, two, three, four, and five. Back to the center. Notice I'm bringing the weights outside that knee. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, don't go too far, because you wanna have room to sit back. Two, three, four, five together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five together. We need to switch sides to the left. Same thing. One, two, three, four, and five. Back together. One, two, three, four, five together. One, two, three, four, five. Whoo, push off. You lose that momentum. One, two, three, four, five. So you gotta really push. Last one, one, two, three, four, and five, good. All right, we have an RDL, Romanian deadlift. We're gonna come here over the top. So find a couple dumbbells that works for you on weight. Nice flat backs is gonna be a minute long. Here we go. So unlike the deadlift where we actually bend our knees, we're just gonna keep our knees soft. You still want the shoulders away from the ears. And we're gonna push that bottom, we're just gonna hinge forward. We're gonna push that bottom back towards the back wall, and then we're gonna come back up for practice. And for now, I don't know about your flexibility, your hamstrings, let's just go below that knee, just below where you're level with the ground, all right? And then we're gonna push those hips forward to stand. So I'm never rounding my back or lifting with the back. All right, my upper body, we're halfway, my upper body comes up because my hips are pushing forward and raising, okay? It's hinging here, it's a hinge. All right, so just think about pushing that bottom back. Don't lock those knees, the knees are soft. I have a slight bend, okay? My hamstrings are really tight. <laughs> Some people are gonna do this pretty straight leg, but make sure the knees are soft regardless. Come down, squeeze and push through. Three, two, and one, rest. Whew, good work. Got a good sweat going on already. Now, we're gonna do a, uh, Reverse lunge here. So grab some weight that you can hold on your shoulder. We're gonna have one weight here on the shoulder and the other one by our side. I want you to step back and then come up, okay? Reverse to stand. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side, holding that weight by your side and at your shoulder. Good. Try to get that knee down as far as you can. All right, depending on where you are with your strength training, just work on it, okay? Maybe use some lighter weight to start. We need to switch sides. So left shoulder with weight. Weight by your right leg, step that left leg back. There you go. 
you got it. This is our circuit. This is the last exercise in this first circuit. And we're gonna go through it one more time for now. So we can get you in and out quick. We'll do our next circuit twice. And then if I set everything up right, we should be able to go through this one more time as a full circuit. Three, two, and one, rest. Woo, good work. I love legs. All right, love the sweat, love the heart rate that's involved with it. All right, arm overhead, squats. All right, be careful. Watch where your weight is, okay? Make sure that it's over the shoulder. Here we go, squat it out. If it feels better, you can grab a chair or a bench and sit down to it and come back up and practice there, okay? There we go. Brace that core nice and tight. 10 more seconds, we'll switch sides. You're doing great. Oh, I am going to be soaked. <laughs> Here we go, switch sides. It is a, a warm day today. Not complaining. Take a warm day any day. It is hot. The air is thick. All right, 18 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work, everyone. Who made it through that? All right, we have that lateral lunge with that eccentric lowering face. We're gonna try to hit five. You might only hit four. I'll still count. Just ignore me if you're not hitting my numbers. But try to slow it down to about five. We don't want to go too far. We want to leave some space for that squat. Okay, one. Push, you gotta push. No momentum. One, two, three, four, five, and push. Good. Step one, two, three, four, five. Push. One, two, three, four, five. Push. And one, two. Let's go ahead and push. Sorry. 30 seconds up. Let's get to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Together. This is that reverse lunge. Let me keep my weight. All right. One weight on the shoulder, one weight down by the leg. Let's start with our right shoulder with the weight there. We're gonna step back with the right leg. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Step back, come together. Good. Holding that other weight there as well. Nice and loaded here. So we're gonna stay here for 30 seconds and we'll switch sides. As cool as I'm going, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels good against my face. It's kind of like ice, not as cold. Oh, but it's cool. Five seconds here. All right, good. Switch sides. Left arm up, right arm down. Left leg comes back. Two. Three. I don't know why I'm counting. No timing. Four. It is natural. <laughs> it's programmed in me. All right, 10 seconds. We're doing great. So our last round for now, we're moving on. All right, good work there. Oh, I missed our RDL, didn't I? We're gonna go back to that now. RDL for a minute. No worries. Here we go. Grab that heavier weight. Shoulders are down. Here we go. Push that bottom back towards the back wall. Just till you're about parallel to the floor. Push the hips forward. Soft knees, but pretty straight legs, okay? Keep them as straight as you can and push forward. Don't worry about getting all the way to the floor right now. Just see if you can get below those knees with a nice flat back. If this is tough for you, I'm getting the form, please drop the weight. Just work on pushing back here. Back is feeling 
feeling like it's being pulled on. So you want to come up all the way tall, head towards ceiling. Last one here. All right, nice work. That was two sets. I'm gonna grab my towel. We have one minute here. I want to talk about the next circuit, which we'll do two sets as well. Look at first off. Well, I have a minute and a 30 second on a couple of these, okay? Do it a little quick. We're gonna do calf raises. That's why I have this. I'm gonna do doubles. All right, I'm gonna try to hold two dumbbells and balance here. All right, you can always hold onto a wall and have one weight. You can do this from the floor, same thing, okay? All right, then we have uh, some T-hops. We're gonna hop out and go left, right, center, okay? Left, right, center, we'll switch up each direction, then you'll go right, left, center. I'll be with that. And then we have a step back with a core swing here, right over that knee. I'm gonna use about a 15. Grab that, and I'll probably use those. Mm -hmm. Set up there, and the other side. All right. Here we go. Let's start with those calf raises. Okay. Grab your weights. We do have a full minute here, so you have time. Drop those heels. Make sure you get the heels down. Again, you have to balance. If you want, just take one dumbbell away. Do this holding on to the wall or something. Okay. Or from the floor, you'll have a little. Bit to keep my balance here and work. You could also go to a single leg. Or halfway. but I feel a breeze, it feels great. <laughs> all right, that's rest. Oh, all right, my calves are talking to me. They're gonna, they're gonna talk to me a little bit longer here because we're gonna burst, but we're gonna jump forward, okay, to the center here. We're gonna go left, right, to center, and then back. All right, I'll try to talk you through it a few, a few times. All right, forward, left, right, center, back. Forward, right, left, center, back. So I'm alternating. Forward, left, right, center, back. Forward, right, left, center, back. Okay, you got it. Forward, left, right, center, back. I'll let you go at your pace. Forward, right. All right, I'll be quiet. Here we go. Have it by now. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. Good work. All right, we have a step back with that swing. Grab a weight. A light weight to start. We're going to alternate our step back. And then swing over that knee, just out front. Step and come up towards the front. Kind of like a kettlebell swing, but just stepping one leg back. But I am hinging at the hips. Good, side to side. Work. We have a long time here. Got a full minute. So make sure that weight's right for you. You have to be able to brace through this entire movement. I'll tell you when we're halfway. Okay, we're halfway. So if that's enough on your core, take a break. Got to be able to stabilize. Good. Great here. We're gonna do side planks coming up. So be ready. You can do a dip and an abduction with me, or you can just hold that side plank. Good. We're almost there. Five seconds here in five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, we're resting. Not long though. So come on down to the floor. We're gonna do that side plank. Elbow under shoulder. You can have two bent knees here to start. You can bring one leg out. You could go toe to heel, or you join me with stack feet, okay? And with my stack feet here, I'm gonna go ahead and dip, and then I'm gonna give an abduction. All right, you could do this with a single knee bent by dipping here and then lifting. Might be a good starter for a lot of you, okay? All right, here you go. Well, we're here. Either way, we're working, right? And we're halfway. We gotta switch sides. I might have given us 30 seconds to switch sides, so we're gonna go back to Dip, dip, and raise. Lower, raise. Give me a few more. Good. Okay, good 
job. Woo. That's a circuit. We're gonna do one more of that. So starting with the calf raises. All right, then you can stop and stretch if you need to do the work or somewhere to see. And if you don't need that one, I'll be back through all of these exercises today. All right, here we go, calf raises. With a heel drop or not. If you don't have a stepper or stair nearby, it's okay. Stick it at the top, either way. You can do this body weight or with a couple dumbbells the way I'm doing it here. Good. Woo! Balance. Good work. I'll try to stretch these calves at the end. <laughs> Alright, we're halfway, we're halfway. In case you wanted to know, some people like to know. Some people know it's that whole last half empty. Up under those toes. Oh boy, we're on a burning. More, uh, more work to balance here. Good. Three, two, and one. I thought it was never going to come. Here we go. Nice work. We have this T hop, alternating which direction we start there, okay? Um, in seven seconds. So I'll talk to you. Uh, let me just, I'll talk to two of them and then I'll let you go at your own pace, okay? So I don't mess this up. Here we go. So, Forward, left, right, center, back. Forward, right, left, center, back. Okay, alternate. Forward, left, right, center, back. Last one that I'll speak through. Forward, right, left, center, back. Let's move. We're halfway. Three, two, and one rest. All right, we have that step back. The core swing is a little long. So think about what that weight felt like last time. All right, be careful. If it helps to stay with one side, stay with one side. So what I mean by that is you're just gonna swing, pop up, step that right leg back, and keep with the same side. I'll tell you when you're there, okay? I'm gonna switch. I thought I was gonna switch. I'm gonna switch and alternate. But if you wanna stay with that same side, go ahead. That 30 seconds, I'll tell you, to switch legs. Good. Swing over that knee. I'm kind of twisting my weight in towards the side and out towards the front. All right? You can see that. Let me see if I can step back here. We're halfway, okay? So here, kind of facing in my body and then it comes out to the front. Good. I'm just stepping back over that knee here. Bracing that core. Giving a good swing. You got it. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Nice work. You got it. All right. This is our side plank pose. Sorry, last night. It's a little bit crazy. Not a lot. We should have decided to stick with one side and then switch the other. <laughs> we'll just go with the split here, okay? Here we go, so we gotta get to it quick. All right, you know the drill, you know the variations. I showed them to you earlier. Pause and review if you need to. We're moving. Five more seconds on this side, so dip quick and lift. Dip, lift, we're gonna switch. Here we go. Dip, lift, nice work. Try to get the same number on each side. Whatever you had over there, Ready to get in here. I need to do one more. There we go. Let's rest. Good work. All right. Towel off. We have just 20 seconds here. Oh, I really didn't give us much time. You're done today if this is the time frame that you need. This is roughly 25 minutes for that warm up, okay? That's all the time you had. Hey, awesome. You showed up. You got some strength in. You're on your way. If you have more time, we are gonna head back to those squats with the single arm overhead. We're gonna do this as one large circuit, okay? So here we go. Back to the top. It's gonna feel different. All right, it's gonna feel different because we did this other circuit um, before this, okay? So we did this one rested and we're not so rested now. All right, we're gonna work through it though. One large circuit, I love doing this. A lot of times I do this when I do my workouts if I'm like, ah, I have some time. You know, just to mix it up on the muscles. 
especially now, okay? You got it, we're halfway, switch arms. Here we go. Woo. Good job. You got it. That arm over your shoulder. Spread this feet maybe just a little wider on this one. Good job, 10 seconds, hold on to it. It's the last one today, three sets this way. Total, three, two, and one. Oh, nice work. All right, this is our lateral lunge, if you remember, with that slow, eccentric, uh, lowering phase there, okay? So let's come with our feet together. I'm gonna step right first. Don't go too far. You gotta be able to squat down in it, okay? So here we go. Step, one, two, three, four, five. Good, let's stay with the same side, back to the center. Step again, one, two, three, four, five. Good, push off. Ooh. Top. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Together. And step. One, two, three, four, five. Together. And step. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. To the other side. Here we go. Step. One, two, three, four, five. Back together. Here we go. Step. One, two, three, four. Together. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Together. One, two, three, four, five. Together. I want you to give me one more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. RDL. All right. Maybe you need some heavier weights if you have them at home for this one. But be careful of that lower back. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, and one. We're gonna push those hips back. I'm gonna keep a nice flat back. When I get to this level, I should be able to put a glass of water on my back and sit it there, right? Reach those hips forward. That's what I think of. If you have a mirror nearby where you can see yourself on your screen, take a look. Are you doing it right? And come up. Remember, those knees are soft. We're gonna try to keep our legs as straight as possible, pushing those hips back, and then bringing them forward again. So no dropping down into this with high hips. Pushing straight back and straight forward. We are halfway. Here we go. Keep moving through this motion. Practice without weight or with very light weight at first. You must have good form first. Good. Push forward. You got it. Good work. Six seconds. I feel like I'm in a sauna today. It feels great. Three, two, and one. Maybe a little hot, but. It's doable. <laughs> All right, so with that, we're moving on right into it. We have our calf raises, okay? Right. Oh, nope, I'm sorry, we have that reverse lunge. I almost cheated us. Here we go. Right, uh, weight on your right shoulder, weight at your left leg. Let's step back with that right foot and forward. Good. We'll go 30 seconds each side here. You got it. Feels different, doesn't it? I'm feeling a little more tired. Still working calves and core before this, all right? Feel this weight offsetting our core now here, up high and low. It's a little tougher. Three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Whew. I usually like the dumbbells that are hexagons and they're soft. These right now feel really good in this hot weather. <laughs> they get really cold in the winter though. Good. Just make sure that. Weight is on your left shoulder. The other weight is by your right leg. We're stepping back with that left leg. We have 10 seconds. You are doing great. And we're just headed into that last round that we did a little bit ago. And we're done. Three, two, and one. Whew. Good work. So calf raises are up. I don't believe I gave us extra rest. I treated this as one large circuit. So we got ready to go here. Oh no, I did give us 30 seconds of rest. Ha! Grab a sip of water. Uh, it all depends on how I feel for today. No, I'm just kidding. All right, 10 seconds. We're going to go into that calf, calf raise, okay? Either off a stepper or the floor. Three, two, and one. It's your last one today. It's a long one. Maybe you're doing this on a stepper. Your balance starts to go. If you fight it for too much, just go to the floor. If I start to fight this, I'm going to come off of this as well. I'm going to 
tried to stick it here for a while. Up down. I sometimes like to hold on to a wall when I do this so I can really focus on getting those heels to drop. Okay, so right now. Plate weights are nice to use if you have a round plate weight because if your heels will touch, they'll still get they'll still drop, but we are halfway, everyone. Go over halfway now. Good. Ooh. Cabs are gonna feel this on the run today. Up, down. Oops. I tried to hold it. <laughs> we should be close. Ah. Oh, they lost it. All right, that was good for that. Okay, here we go. We have our hops, right? Back on those toes, bouncing around. All right, we're gonna go forward left, right, center, back. Then we're gonna go forward, right, left, center, back, okay? Here we go, three, two, and one. Forward, left, right, center, back. Forward, right, left, center, back. All right, go ahead and alternate. You got it by now. We're halfway. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. Do that core swing. Remember, it's a long one. Watch your core right now. You could even just do your hands. All right. Either way, just watch it. Okay. Three, two, and one. Here we go. You can stay with one side. I'll tell you when we're halfway, or you're going to alternate side to side. Step back. Good. That weight up in front. You got it. Now I do. Stand up. Come to that stand. Push those hips forward. Pop them forward a little bit, okay? You want to stay down here the whole time, okay? You want to come up and stand and release that lower back. Forward here. We're over halfway. All right. 15 seconds to go. You got it. Just hang in there. We're almost done. We have one more. It's a short one. Three, two, and one. And I'm actually going to take you to two 30 seconds instead of a 15. Okay? So, down on your side. We're going to go a little bit longer because it's the last one. We can do this. Here we go. Up on your side, lift those hips, abduct. You can do it with the knee down. You got it. I'm gonna try to hold this for 30 seconds on this side before switching to the other side. Last one, do our best. Even if you have to modify, even if you stop here and modify, that's okay. 10 seconds to go. We'll do a quick stretch, I'll get you out of here. Three, two, and one. Good work. 30 more seconds. We're going to do the other side. Here we go. Elbow under shoulder. Either under uh, leg underneath bent or straight. And up. Dip, lift, raise. Dip, lift, raise. All right. Make sure that the shoulder's up towards the ceiling, that we're not rocking forward into this. Okay? Straight up and down. It makes it harder, but that's the way it should be. Good. Dip, lift, raise. One more for me. Dip, lift, raise, and down. Woo, good work. I'm gonna grab my towel and a sip of water. Go ahead, we're gonna stretch it out here. Get on with your day. All right. Woo. Good sweat going. Good leg day. We have upper body day that goes with this. Uh, we're on a little challenge this month to mix it up and keep it a little shorter, making sure that we fit it in, all right, rather than this all or nothing approach. All right, so let's go ahead. We can forget the arms. Let's go ahead and just bend over here. And let's start with uh, feet together, sort of together, and swing outside each foot. Drop your head in, neck down, chin to chest, side to side, just a little twist here. Big 
big breaths into that belly. Whew. That feels good. Let's bring that right foot over that left foot. And then I want you to push your hips out to the right and slide down on the inside of those legs or inside of your right leg. Good. Don't go too far, just until you feel that stretch. Really push those hips out. Breathe. All right, left foot over right. Slide down the inside, press those hips out away from the side you're sliding down on here. Sliding down on the inside of my left leg. It's wrapped around my right foot, okay? Push those hips out. Ooh, the side. Feel it. Nice work. Let's go wide. Grab your elbows. Let's swing side to side here. Just rock it out. Good. Arms out like airplane wings. All the way to the top. So have a seat here for me. Bring that right ankle over your left knee. Sit here, stretch into those hips. We'll start with seated, then we'll lay down. Just get a good stretch for a few seconds here. Let's even let this fall side to side a couple times. Maybe four, one, two, three, and four. Good, let's lay down. We're gonna continue to stretch it here by pulling on the back of that left leg. Pull in. Good. Put that left foot down and let's let those knees, both with that right uh, foot still on your knee, fall to the right. Good. Now breathe. Good. Back up to the center. Last one. Push that left foot over. Feel that stretch in the hip there. Maybe rock it side to side here. One, two, three, and four. Good job. Let's lay down. Grab behind that right leg, pull in. Let's hold this for just a few seconds. Deep into your belly. Place that right foot down. Let the knees fall left. Left foot on your knee, just kind of pull down on that right knee. Feel that stretch all through your side here. Good, we need to get calves real quick, so big downward dog. I think we're almost done here. Let's just go back into them, press back. Let's walk it out one last time. We'll count to 10. 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push back, hold, put those heels down, and release. All right, that's it. If you stayed for that third uh, round, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this and the variety of being able to do a shorter, longer version, mixing it up on those muscles. Today, I didn't even read my quote, the two most powerful warriors of patience and time, Leo Tolstoy. And I like that one because I think in the fitness journey, uh, patience and time, you have to have it, okay? Things don't happen overnight. Unfortunately, I would love to tell you that they do. And there's no quick, there are no quick fi fixes, and I would love to tell you that there are. So just take your time. It took you a while to get here, where you are now. It's going to take you a while to build back to where you used to be. So just be patient, baby steps. Give yourself a pat on the back for each thing you do every day. Have a good day.